Malaysia is on the cusp of a new era. The government has unveiled its ambitious 2025 spending plan. It aims to propel the nation towards greater economic heights. The budget is crucial for attracting foreign investment. It outlines a roadmap for sustainable and inclusive growth. We will explore its potential to reshape the nation's economic landscape. The budget reflects the government's commitment to fiscal responsibility. It also prioritizes targeted investments in key sectors. The plan is designed to foster innovation, create jobs and improve living standards. By addressing long-standing structural issues, the government seeks to enhance Malaysia's competitiveness. The goal is to attract foreign direct investment and drive economic expansion. By embracing bold reforms and strategic investments, Malaysia is positioning itself. It wants to be a prime destination for businesses and investors seeking growth opportunities. All stakeholders, including the government, private sector and citizens must work together. Fiscal reforms are the cornerstone of Malaysia's 2025 budget. The government is committed to strengthening the nation's financial health. It is doing so by implementing prudent measures to optimize spending and enhance revenue generation. These reforms are essential for ensuring long-term economic sustainability. They create a more conducive environment for businesses to thrive. One of the key aspects of the fiscal reforms is subsidy rationalization. While subsidies have played a role in supporting the people, the government recognizes the need for greater efficiency. This involves gradually reducing subsidies. At the same time, it ensures targeted assistance reaches those most in need. Another crucial element of the fiscal reforms is tax optimization. The government is exploring ways to make the tax system more equitable. This can boost investor confidence and attract foreign direct investment. The RON95 petrol subsidy has been a hot topic in Malaysia for years. It has provided relief to consumers from fluctuating fuel prices. However, it has also placed a significant strain on government coffers. The 2025 budget proposes a gradual reduction of the RON95 petrol subsidy. This is a bold move aimed at addressing fiscal concerns and promoting responsible consumption. The decision to cut the fuel subsidy is not without its critics. Some argue that it will disproportionately impact low-income households. These households rely heavily on personal vehicles for transportation. The government is acutely aware of these concerns. It has pledged to implement measures to mitigate the impact on vulnerable groups. These measures include targeted cash transfers and enhanced public transportation options. The government aims to strike a balance between fiscal consolidation and consumer impact. To address concerns about the impact of the RON95 petrol subsidy cut, the government has proposed a two-tier pricing system. This system aims to strike a balance between affordability for the masses and fiscal prudence. Under this system, eligible citizens and businesses will continue to enjoy subsidised fuel prices up to a certain limit. Any consumption beyond this limit will be charged at market rates. The two-tier pricing system is designed to ensure that those who need assistance the most continue to receive it. At the same time, it encourages responsible consumption by those who can afford to pay market prices. This approach is expected to reduce the overall cost of fuel subsidies for the government. This will free up resources for other priority areas such as education, healthcare and infrastructure development. The success of the two-tier pricing system will depend on several factors. Effective implementation and clear communication are key. Section 5. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's Vision – A Prosperous and Sustainable Malaysia Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim has been a vocal advocate for fiscal responsibility and sustainable development. He envisions a Malaysia that is not only economically prosperous, but also socially inclusive and environmentally conscious. The 2025 budget reflects this vision, emphasizing strategic investments in key sectors that will drive long-term growth and improve the well-being of all Malaysians. In his budget speech, Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim stressed the importance of unity and collective effort in achieving the nation's economic aspirations. He called upon all stakeholders, including the private sector, civil society and citizens, to play their part in building a more resilient and equitable Malaysia. 
the Prime Minister's vision is clear, to create a nation where everyone has the opportunity to succeed and where no one is left behind. The success of these efforts will depend on the continued support and collaboration of all stakeholders. Section 6. Economy Minister Rafizi Ramli's Insights Driving Growth and Innovation Economy Minister Rafizi Ramli has played a pivotal role in shaping Malaysia's 2025 budget. He brings to the table a deep understanding of the country's economic landscape and a strong commitment to driving growth and innovation. Minister Rafizi Ramli has emphasised the importance of moving away from a dependence on subsidies towards a more sustainable economic model based on innovation, technology and high-value industries. He believes that the country has the potential to become a regional leader in Southeast Asia by leveraging its strategic location, skilled workforce and growing technological capabilities. The 2025 budget reflects this vision by prioritising investments in key sectors such as technology, renewable energy and high-tech manufacturing. His focus on innovation, technology and high-value industries is expected to attract foreign investment and create high-paying jobs. Section 7. Attracting foreign investors. A competitive edge in Southeast Asia. Malaysia has long been a destination for foreign direct investment, thanks to its strategic location, business-friendly environment and skilled workforce. The 2025 budget aims to further enhance Malaysia's attractiveness to foreign investors by focusing on key areas that are crucial for businesses looking to expand in Southeast Asia. One of the key strategies outlined in the budget is to streamline regulations and improve the ease of doing business. The government recognises that a transparent and efficient regulatory environment is essential for attracting foreign investment. To this end, the budget proposes several measures to reduce bureaucracy, simplify procedures and enhance transparency in government dealings with businesses. By addressing key bottlenecks and providing the necessary support, the government aims to make Malaysia a more attractive destination for businesses looking to expand in Southeast Asia. Section 8. Infrastructure Development. Building a Modern and Connected Nation. Recognising that a robust and modern infrastructure is essential for economic growth, the 2025 budget allocates significant resources towards infrastructure development. The government plans to invest in a wide range of infrastructure projects, including transportation networks, digital connectivity and renewable energy generation. These investments are expected to create jobs, boost economic activity and improve the quality of life for Malaysians. One of the key priorities for infrastructure development is to improve connectivity across the country. The budget includes funding for the construction of new highways, railways and airports, as well as the upgrading of existing infrastructure. These projects will not only facilitate the movement of goods and people, but also open up new areas for economic development, particularly in rural communities. The government recognises the importance of a robust and secure digital ecosystem for businesses and citizens alike. Section 9. Digital Economy Boost. Embracing Technology for a Brighter Future. The 2025 budget places a strong emphasis on developing Malaysia's digital economy. The government recognises the transformative potential of technology to drive economic growth, create jobs, and improve the lives of citizens. To achieve this, the budget outlines a comprehensive strategy to promote digital adoption, foster innovation, and develop a skilled digital workforce. One of the key initiatives outlined in the budget is the establishment of a dedicated fund to support the growth of startups and small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs, in the technology sector. This fund will provide financial assistance, mentorship, and other forms of support to help these businesses scale up and compete in the global marketplace. Section 10. The Road Ahead. Opportunities and Challenges for Malaysia's Economy. Malaysia's 2025 budget is a bold and ambitious plan. It aims to steer the nation towards a more sustainable and prosperous future. 
The budget's success hinges on a number of factors. These include effective implementation, sustained commitment from all stakeholders, and the ability to navigate both domestic and global economic headwinds. The road ahead is likely to be marked by both opportunities and challenges. One of the key challenges facing Malaysia's economy is the uncertain global economic outlook. The country is not immune to the ripple effects of geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, and inflationary pressures. Despite the challenges, Malaysia's economy is well positioned for growth.